Ladies and gents, Kezia doesn't know this, but she's going to be here for about 18 to 20 minutes. What? During this. <laughs> yes, you want fudge? My darling foodies, thanks so much for joining us on How To Foodie Nation, where we learn all the how-tos about your favorite trend Begonian dishes. Today, we're doing something nice and sweet, coconut fudge. So let's get cooking. Everywhere I go, mm -hmm. especially as people have been watching How To Now, mm -hmm. they're like, Chef, when are we going to be seeing some more sweets? We love sweets es in this kitchen. Especially sweets from Trinidad and Tobago, our mm -hmm. local sweets. Traditional things. Good stuff. And uh, someone mentioned fudge. Now, let's be real, guys. Fudge is a favorite of Chef and I, like a favorite, favorite. This is no joke. We not playing. Like if you have fudge right now, you could send it to us. Feel free. Pass by and drop it off. We we taking all the fudge. But in the meantime, if you don't have, yeah. we make it right now. So we'll show you how to do it. We're doing coconut fudge today. Yes. Uh, some technicality with it. I will be upfront. Yeah. Nevertheless, but um, it's it takes some time. But you'll be rewarded with some really great sweets at the end. And we know you love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. So I mean, both of us on board. Let's go. Let's get going. So. I have a pot on the stove. I like to use a non-stick pan. Okay. Very important because sugar, condensed milk, all those uh, sweetening agents. They can stick. And that's a problem if you have to wash that after. Yeah. <laughs> problems. A lot of soak. Problems. So I will always say non-stick pan. Okay. Go with it. We are at a medium to high heat right now. Mm -hmm. I have some coconut milk inside there. Mm -hmm. You can use fresh coconut milk. You can use the canned coconut milk. You can mix uh, powdered coconut milk a little bit of water it right. works well so do we have to use coconut milk or is it just because we're doing coconut fudge well the thing about it we are doing coconut fudge mm -hmm. so it will be wise to use coconut milk inside there to bring that in yeah but you if could, it was just plain fudge um you could use ordinary milk just and you probably use some vanilla inside those okay but obviously trying to re reinforce the flavors mm -hmm. coconut milk. so you want to pour that in for me Cassie? sure all right pan is already hot so you would start to hear it Ooh. there we go and that nice thick consistency is what is going to give you a really full body fudge. Very important. Let me take that from you. Thank you. Secondly, I would like you to put some brown sugar inside this. So sure. you can put all. Sure. So the sweetening agents are making its entry into the fudge right now. When you bite into fudge, you get that nice that sort of like little creaminess that just yeah. Those breaks little granules. Easy, the granules. So that's where the, sh the brown sugar comes from. It attributes itself. You want to mix it in together, get it inside there. As mentioned, it's a process that takes some time, guys. So bear with us. We are going with condensed milk inside there also. Thank you. So we have two types of sweeteners inside there. This is going to bring the fudge together. Okay. Anybody outside there have ever had like dolce de leche ice cream mm -hmm. or that caramel consistency yeah. of that dessert sauce of dolce de leche? Yeah. Essentially, that is what we're making here right now. That nice body, that luxurious kind of feel. When you really think about it, that, car that fudge, you have to cook it down almost to close to that caramel stage. Okay. And uh, because this is high in sweetening agents it's something that you have to constantly stir because you cannot just leave it and forget it so what you're saying with constantly stir because to me it sounds like you're telling me i'm going to be stirring here for long ladies and gents kezia doesn't know this but she's going to be here for about 18 to 20 minutes what stirring this. <laughs> no, 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 yes you want fudge i, I, I want you want fudge, fudge? you I have to work fudge. for the fudge it's a snack that's what fudge so is about <laughs> Is that, is that snack? So you're continuously going for this whole 18 to 20 minutes? Yes, because what happens is that the milk inside is going to start to bubble up and then right. the whole kitchen will have to redecorate the whole kitchen when it's <laughs> inside there. So you're stirring it. Okay. Right? And moving around. And by stirring it, what's happening is evaporation is taking place because obviously it's being agitated. The liquid is going to evaporate much quicker as when it's mm -hmm. just uh, tranquil in that point of view, right? Okay. So guys, 18 to 20 minutes. We're looking at probably medium to high heat at this point in time. Play with it. And... Uh, We'll check back with you in a little while. <laughs> Kessie, you would see that it has reduced significantly, almost yep. by half. Huh? And, and it's you're getting, nice and thick. And again, a nice color inside there that Fudge is known for. Mm -hmm. And you want to bring this to a temperature which is about foam ball. Okay. Foam ball stage means it's at 240 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why I have my thermometer inside there right. monitoring it right now. Okay. And that's a good indication so that, because so, it's very hard visually to look at it to know if it's ready okay and that's why we're doing this video here to more or less show any video so a thermometer helps in the process of gauging it in terms of it reaching to that desired temperature and we're there at 240 right now mm -hmm. so what i would ask you to do is to take off the heat sure 
Could you put a piece of the pork cork underneath it? Yes. So that will, uh, if you want to put it on top. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so there you there go. There we go. What we need to do is put in a piece of butter also. Right. The butter helps condition it and uh, gives it a nice shine. Okay. Okay. And uh, that is important because it, it sort of uh, gets the caramel or the fudge in this case ready ah. to be poured. Right. And just, just for maybe one or two minutes, you do that for mm -hmm. and add a little bit of almond essence. You could add vanilla essence at this point in time. Okay. I like to put it at the ending because the flavor is more powerful. Okay. If you want to put shards of coconut inside there, raisins, peanuts, pecans, Nuts. good to go. Right? A little fruit. Mm. And you can smell it, right? You see the, the, the essence, you get it in the atmosphere right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. more strong. And, and basically you get this nice sheen on it, this shine. And That's it's... from the butter. Mm -hmm. All right? And as you mix it, you're incorporating air into the fudge. So you get that nice texture, that breakable texture. Right. At this point in time, it's still very soft. So as you do it for a few minutes, mm -hmm. it's going to come in. And then it will bring it to a pourable consistency. And uh, we will have our fudge. So just for a little time again. So more stirring. More stirring, Kezi. I told you, it's a technical thing, but you are rewarded with sweet treats at the end. Hold, I hope so, you know. Hold tight, girl. Hold tight. <laughs> Kezi, I think we're good there. We get a nice color. Mm -hmm. It's almost like peanut here. Yeah. Yeah. But that's dolce de leche for you, that nice burnt caramel kind of like color we're getting inside there. So you ready to pour it inside here? Yes, please. I have a tray lined with grease proof paper. Okay. So that helps me later on to be able to take it out from that rather than it stick to the pan, you know what oh, I mean? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So it's easy stuff to work it's with. It's easy after. stuff. If you have a silicone mat, that works well also inside there. But we all have grease proof paper at home and it seems to be the number one choice right now for home cooks and okay. especially on how to. We know you guys have it. <laughs> so what's going on here, as you pour it out into here, Kezi, mm -hmm. we're going to let it firm up for maybe about 20 minutes. Okay. I'm going to come back with a knife in a little while when it's semi-firm and cut my blocks to score it. Oh. You don't wait till the end to cut it because it's going to be sense. very hard. That makes sense. So basically, you just put the lines in so that when it does firm up, you can break it off easily. Exactly. So I ah. just say, you get a nice color. Mm -hmm. Give it about 20 minutes. I'm going to come back with a knife and then cut it up and then... We just sell it for about two hours again to film up or solidify. Okay. And we have our fudge. Yay! <laughs> you didn't switch us now, relax. The sweet rewards are here, Kaziana. You finally. Finally. <laughs> All that stirring, guys. This, I think, is the best fudge in the whole wide world because I worked hard for it. Listen, that's an important point there. Mm -hmm. Sure, you could go and get fudge and whatever the case may be. But the thing about it is that when you make it at home, it is truly unique to you. I agree. The love that goes into it, the sweetness that goes into it. The love and the hard work. And fudge is just something that's so yummy. I mean, you can't go to Tobago's airport and not come yes. back. With fudge, you know. Well, not only that, eh? I mean, a myriad of other uh, of our snacks. You yeah, know, yeah. Benny Ball sticks. Red mango. Sugar cake. Mm. You know? Shout out to everybody there in Tobago. We know you Love. are the pioneers when making good coconut fudge, Seymour's fudge. This is our fudge. tribute to you. <laughs> I mean, but tell us, guys, especially our Tobago family, tell us, how do you make your fudge? Because we know everybody has yes. that special something. Some people like it a little darker. Well, if you wanted a darker, because yeah, mm -hmm. we just have to cook the, uh, the milk for a longer period of time. Okay, and so then it gets to that rich car color. Kind of caramelized browner color. So, okay. you know, it's all good. But I, I, I think we did a pretty good job. With I what think we so, too. And I would love everybody to try this. But Please. before you guys try it, Kezia and I have to try it. We have to. All right, so you want to give me a piece? Because I know this is your plate, eh? No, I share it. I know we have a love for fudge. So I share. Oh. I'm not gonna give it the bigger piece too. Look how nice it breaks. So nice Beautiful. and so soft. Remember, we spoke about the sugar earlier on. The purpose mm -hmm. of it to get that nice grain. We're also eating it. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the you know the essence at the end comes through. But you know that coconut milk really did a trick for me. It's a nice subtle flavor. It's so good. You know the beauty about it, as mentioning, you could also put other things into it. Mm -hmm. Peanuts, fruits, raisins. Walnuts, chocolate Anything chips. That you, oh. Guys, if you make fudge at home, mm -hmm. or what other great ideas you have to put, put in your fudge, let us know. Yeah. Because um, I'm sure you can you get great, have great, great ideas outside. Eh? I have seen mint chocolate fudge. You know, it's a good idea for Christmas. I had an Oreo fudge too once. Punch a cram fudge. Maybe we need to do that. We, we need to get on that. Guys, tell us, what other Tobago sweet snacks would you like us to try? Let us know in the comments below. This is so good, Kezi. All right, I'm going to let you finish, right? Until next time, guys, happy eating. Bye-bye.